All right, hey, what's up, guys? Um, okay, right now I'm doing a unboxing. Sorry that it is on my bed, um, but I don't have anywhere else to do this with this size of box. Smaller things I do on my desk, but you know, um, this is the Hands G monitor uh, on Newegg. I got it for a hundred bucks. Uh, not for me. This is for my dad. Um, Right now, I think it's 130. It went back up. Um, it is the Hands G HL229 DPS Black 20, 21 and a half inch monitor. Uh, I hope all that shows up. Yeah. Um, so you see, it's got some pretty decent specs. It's 1080. Uh, the three thought. 30 million to 1 active contrast, 5 millisecond response time, uh, decent inputs, low power consumption, eco-friendly, I don't really care about eco-friendly stuff, but uh, built-in stereo speakers. Now I'm not going to get to test this too much, I'm going to hook it up just to make sure it doesn't have any dead pixels, but I thought I would show what comes in the box. Let me zoom back out a bit. Okay, so... I haven't touched this yet, so I'll open it up. That's the power cable. Uh, so it's got audio cable and the VGA. Comes the VGA cable. Um, it doesn't come. I already know it doesn't come with the uh, DV, the DVI. I think it's DVI I input. I don't remember. I know it already comes with the DV. It doesn't come with the DVI uh, cable, so you'd have to buy that. Um, here's the stand that it sits on. Just screws in. And then, wow, that goes around the whole end. I kind of like that. That's cool. Give me a second. Alright, so I got it out. I'll do some close-ups real quick of it. Let me just take the camera. Take the camera off of here. very clean looking monitor. I do like that. It's not too heavy either. It's pretty light. It's got mounting on the back too. I think the speakers... I don't know if that's for venting. I don't know the top's for venting. These are the two inputs. The power. Is it tilt? I don't think it tilts. Yeah, it's got a tilt. It says it tilts. Alright, well, I'm gonna... I'm gonna hook it up, and uh, just to do a pixel, to see if there's any dead pixels on it, before I give it to my dad. And, uh... That's pretty much it. So, like I said, Newegg, it's, it's a pretty cheap monitor. 1080p, 5 millisecond response time. So it'll be decent for gaming, pretty good for gaming, um, as long as it works. I've heard some people say they've gotten theirs, and then they've had dead pixels or it not work at all, so we'll see what this one is. Alright guys, so I screwed up the ending somehow, I don't know, this camera's kind of finicky or something, or I'm just not used to it yet. Uh, this is not the monitor, um, this is my TV. Um, this is the monitor right here on Newegg. Uh, you can pause it right there if you want to look it up. Um, it's the current price right now. I got into my video editor and I realized that the last clip that I recorded uh, where I actually showed the screen and a couple dead pixels that were on it um, 
for some reason didn't get recorded at all. So I'm just gonna do this. Uh, there were a couple dead pixels. Um, they were very unnoticeable on a 1080p screen uh, for a hundred dollar or a hundred and thirty dollar TV uh, monitor. Sorry, uh, I wouldn't complain. It's a very. It looked very good. Um, it, even in VGA, I just hooked, because I just hooked up to VGA. Uh, it looked really good. So I'd say if you're on a pretty cheap budget and you're looking for a good 1080 monitor, uh, definitely consider this. Put this in your uh, consideration list for monitors. Uh, thanks for watching. Like, share, sub, anything helps. And uh, see you in the next one.